now you guys are going to do four demos yep. um, that would apply to our our lives and yeah, my own. But I was told, I always let ladies go first, but I was told, Peter, you have to yes. start because she's riffing off something you're doing. Yeah. That's true. Okay. I, um, you know, so. he's the leader. He's free Madonna. That is so he's not true. This is so <laughs> can, you, can you believe I come to this show and these two say, all I get I'm is the abuse. leader. All I, I get know. is beating we, we about. We like to do so, it down. So, uh, so listen, here we go. <laughs> okay. So just really simple tips, whether it's that huge room at the, um, at the high school or whether it's your craft room at home, simple, simple tips for storing things. Keep like things together. It all comes down to that. And in this case, whether you have glitter, working with the kids, working in a home office, whether it's um, paper clips or buttons, small mason jars, any size mason jars. And you can see in, through them. That's exactly. Are you seriously? You've picked it all. I'm well. a very <laughs> organized person. That is Actually, absolutely yeah. true. And just a small magnet attaches to the top of these jars. This is so simple. Metal, metal shelf. Check that out. And That's they cool, all, right? And it gets set up, which I love. I know, they love it. Like, it's very cool. Cool. And it's small, and you don't take up any more space on your surfaces it, or in drawers. And it's taking up zero counter space yeah. or even shelf space. And I've That's actually, cool. I've actually seen people do this with um, herbs and spices in a kitchen as nice. well. Yes. On the yes. inside cool. of the shelf. Really, really cool. Yeah. Good idea. I haven't seen that. Very cool. Okay, all Mr. Right, Peter. Better. So. Over to you. Speaking of buttons, speaking yes. of buttons, you guys, I know everybody throws away all the little buttons we get. You know, if you get a shirt or a jacket or this or that. I just, I was cleaning out <laughs> my, my dresser bureau the other day, and I had a box stuffed like this. It was literally bulging open. <laughs> like, you're ever going to remember to, like, sift through that. I just give it to the cleaner and say, can I have a snappy button here? <laughs> your, your, well, I love your it day is about, it. Your day is about to change. Yeah, right exactly. Here. Well, now that Peter's taught us how to store it, I'm going to tell you what to do with them, because a lot of people say to me, I throw them out unless I have a set or I have enough of them. Right, right. No. Singles are awesome. So see, I changed up this shirt. This is the before Rach. Yeah. Plain, boring button down. I had these cute little studs. Okay, and all you do is if you're missing a button and you have three or two, just add them in. Like even if you have add one, add an accent to the button, this is an and then accent. it looks like exactly. It was done because over. you pay a lot of money for this, so it's really easy. What do you think, Peter? And by, if you're missing any, I decided to bring in it. Uh, <laughs> she ripped it off her own coat. I love that. I was, and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot to take my buttons off. You two done? <laughs> yes, we're done. We're done. Uh, back over here. All right. Again, in a craft room, home office, anything like that, this is a really simple solution. Simply an old wine rack. Grab one of these and then grab... We don't have old wine racks well, in my house, no. my friend. They're very busy <laughs> holding wine. <laughs> family show um, and, and acrylic tumblers don't use glass use acrylic and then if, whether you've got kids especially use acrylic and then just grab anything you want to store yeah, and it's simply See, for someone like me this is perfect simply in a craft high, room, he can reach and then yeah. it's not going to break they can be taken taken to the spot wherever the kids are working crafting that kind I of like thing i like that very much it's very cute and then you can easily do it with um you know sewing needles crochet needles anything like that anything you want to organize cool yeah. all right well no. thank what's you. your thing now? i have i need a crochet hook is there one in there where's my crochet hook? i don't know where my oh here it is right here see how it is this is what he does i would even all know day yesterday. what that is i would say let's clean some seafood <laughs> <laughs> okay so sweaters you know we talked about how to actually store things yesterday. I talked about the white and storing things not to stain. And also sweaters and knits. If they're really loopy, they can pull easily. So one great thing, you know, keep your crochet hook handy. Obviously got a big pull here. Easy, quick fix. You don't need to know how to do anything except put this through. Sorry, guys. Let me You're put my... Fix you put pull. your hand right on top of that loop and you literally get pull it, it back it through. And pull it I have through. a ton of pulled sweaters. Now, you That's can a good tie one. a knot, but you don't have to. With a lot of them, if it's double loop, you yeah. don't tie a knot, you know, and if it's single, you tie it up. If it's single, tie a knot. If it's double looped, don't tie a knot. Yeah, it'll go right back in.